Hey, what's going on? This is Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a website, not a blog, using WordPress. This is something that a lot of people want to know how to do with their WordPress site. So the objective here is to turn off the blog look and feel, if you will, of their WordPress site and create a more traditional looking and behaving website. All right, now, before we jump into all this, I've put together a free WordPress guide for you, which you can go and check out over at 10tononline.com forward slash WP guide. So go ahead and grab your free WordPress guide. All right, now, as I say, the objective here is to turn the blog look and feel off. I'm running just a, a straight up fresh installation of WordPress here. Really nothing too exciting happening here. We might want to start things off with a theme that doesn't have a blog feel to it. Here I'm using the default 2013 theme just to demonstrate and much of what I'm going to show you is going to work for a lot of other themes but you may want to use a more website-y feely theme if that makes sense to you. Maybe a theme like responsive or business light or hatch. These are all good examples of WordPress themes that have more of a traditional website feel to them. Alright now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take sort of a top-down approach to converting what I'm seeing here into more of a traditional site and I'm going to start off right at the very top my blog and then my WordPress blog so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to the back end of my WordPress site which I have here in another browser tab and what I'm going to do is I'm going to head all the way down to settings down towards the bottom left corner and then over to general okay and inside the general screen, I can change the site title and the tagline. This is where we see my blog and my WordPress blog. So give me a second here. I'm going to change this to, just as a quick example here, my company site, something like this. And then perhaps the tagline for my company, the fastest widgets in town. There we go, something like that. I'm going to scroll all the way down towards the bottom and make sure that I save my changes. And then I'll head back to the front end of my site and refresh Controller Command R on your keyboard, by the way. And there we go. Now we've gotten rid of that, that reference to a blog or to a WordPress website in the main header area, at least. All right, good enough. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to change what's being displayed in the front end of my WordPress website. By default, we're going to get our what's referred to as the WordPress loop, all of our WordPress posts. I'm going to change that to a static page instead, which I would definitely recommend that you do. So with a default installation of WordPress, we have one sample post, which we just saw on the front end of our site, and one sample page as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down to settings in the bottom left corner. This time I'm going to go to reading, and inside the reading settings, front page displays, instead of my latest blog posts, I'm going to say a static page. And the front page, I'm going to set to that default sample page that we have, okay? Go ahead and save those changes as well, okay? Let's go and check out the front end of our site. Once again, I'll refresh Control or Command R on my keyboard. There we go. We now have a static page being displayed in the front end of our WordPress site. OK, however, if I scroll down a little bit, I see that we have a commenting area down towards the bottom of this of this static page. Now, you may want to remove this comment area because, again, it's kind of giving it sort of a, a bloggy feel. So if that's a if that's a term I can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and turn off the the commenting capabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back once again to the back end of my WordPress site. I'm going to head down to Pages now. Go ahead and click on Pages. And then there's my sample page. I'm going to go and edit my actual sample page for a moment here. 
Okay, get in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable my commenting, and here's how I'm going to do it. Way up towards the top right corner, I'm going to click on Screen Options, and then I'm going to turn on Discussion. Okay, and then I'll collapse my screen options once again. And then if I scroll down beneath my editing area, we now have a discussion area where we can choose to allow comments and trackbacks or disallow them. Okay, so I'm unchecking them, which means I don't want to have them for this particular page. And then I'll go and update over on the right hand side. And of course, once again, I'll go and refresh the front end of my site. And now I don't have any comments on that front static page. Okay, perfect. All right, good stuff. We're making really, really good headway here in terms of converting our WordPress blog to a WordPress website. Here's something else that I want to do. I want to set up more traditional pages. Once again, I don't want to make use of any of the blogging features. So what I'm going to do for this site is I'm simply not going to make use of WordPress's posting functionality. I'm not going to use posts at all. I'm just going to stick with regular pages. And of course, as we already know, we have one sample page created for us already. Check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head once again to the back end. And rather than calling this sample page, I'm going to call this home just inside this title field here. And then once again, I'm going to go and update over on the right hand side. Okay. Now, if I go and refresh in the front end of my site, I now see home here. But on the main navigation menu, at least for this particular theme, I also see home there as well. Okay. So we can go and create as many static pages as we want. Check this out. I'm going to head back to the back end. Underneath pages, I'm going to click on add new over on the left hand side. And what are some traditional static pages that we'd have in a website? How about contact us? Something like this. Okay, and I'm not even going to bother throwing in any content for now. This is just a quick example. Over on the right hand side, I'll publish. And then back way over on the left hand side, I'll go and add in another new page. And maybe I'll type in something like our services. There we go. Something like that. And then I'll go and publish this guy. And let's do one more. I'm going to do about us. So once again, creating a new page, and I'll simply call this new page about us. How's that? Okay. And of course, you can go and add in as many new pages as you want. And as you're adding them into the back end of your site, when you go and refresh the front end of your site, there's all of our new pages across the main navigation bar. Okay. Now by default, by the way, and this is a, a complete aside, these guys will show up in alphabetical order, but you can actually set a sort order for these guys if you wanted to. Okay. All right. So things are looking really, really good here. There's only one more thing that I want to do. And that is I want to control what I'm seeing down inside the footer area of my website. As you can see, there's a lot of references here to posts. And you know, it's kind of given it away that this is this is a blog or this is being built using a blogging platform. So I want to go and change that. So I'm going to head once again back to the back end. This time I'm going to head down to appearance over on the left hand side and then down to widgets. Okay, all those items that I saw inside the footer area are all widgets. And what we have over on the left hand side is our main widget area. I'm going to keep my search, but I'm going to get rid of recent posts, recent comments, archives, anything that's related to, you know, blogging or posts or anything like that. And maybe what I'll do is I'll throw in pages, I'll add pages over onto the right hand side, something like this. Okay. And then if I head back to the front end of my site and refresh, then we're going to wind up with just something like this, just something very simple. Okay. If I wanted to, I could go and throw in an arbitrary text widget and throw in some social media links if I wanted to, things like that. Okay. All right. I hope you're enjoying this. There's one more thing that we have to do. Look at this dead giveaway way down at the bottom, proudly powered by WordPress. How do you get rid of that? How are we going to toast this, this little mention here of WordPress? I don't want to have that on my website. Check this out. It's actually really easy to do. It's all going to happen inside the back end of our WordPress site. Underneath appearance, I'm going to head down to editor, okay, over on the left hand side. And then way over on the right hand side, we have our list of templates. What I want you to do is I want you to go and look for your footer. Okay, footer.php. Okay, that'll bring up this guy. Okay, great.
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to search for proudly powered by WordPress. So I'm going to hit Control or Command F directly inside my browser, and I'm going to say proudly powered, and there it is. It finds it for me right away. So there's where the, the code is inside footer.php. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this code here just above it. It starts with div class equals site info. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to select all the way down to where I see the site info ending. Okay, grab that chunk of code, if you will, and delete it. Okay, just like that. And then you'll have to scroll down just a little bit further and click on update file. All right, that should do the job for us. Let's go back to the front end of our site and refresh. And there we go, the proudly powered by WordPress mentioned down at the bottom of our footer is now gone. How awesome is that? So there you go. This has been a crazy fast tutorial, but there's how you can take your WordPress blog and convert it into a WordPress site. You saw lots of different techniques for achieving exactly that. Now, don't forget to grab your free WordPress guide over at 10tononline.com forward slash WP guide. For 10tononline.com, this is Jeff Blake. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, send it to your friends and your coworkers and anyone who you think would benefit from it, who would like it. Use the share links at the bottom of the video to share it on Facebook and Twitter. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.